Hi, I'm Cher, and I'm the product manager on the Gemini API team. Today, I will show you how you can tune the Gemini models. Often, developers building applications with large language models require higher quality for custom use cases than general purpose models and few shot prompting. You may have bespoke requirements for output format, style, task completion, or even want the model to have a certain memory. This is where tuning comes in. Tuning takes the base model and further trains it on task-specific examples. This often produces higher quality and lower latency models compared to few-shot prompting. Since December 2023, we've launched a series of Gemini models in various sizes, so developers can build with the one that best fits their needs. Some of these models are available for tuning in both the Gemini API and Google AI Studio. In particular, tuning in Google AI Studio requires no code at all. Let's see how you can tune Gemini 1.0 Pro in Google AI Studio with no code. Say I want to tune a reverse dictionary model that outputs a word given a definition. I want higher quality and lower latency than using few shot prompting, so let's tune a custom model. You can start by going to Google AI Studio and selecting New Tune Model in the menu bar on the left. Then I select the tuning dataset, which could be Google Sheets, CSV, or import it from a structured prompt. Here we have a dataset of 100 examples. And for best quality, we recommend using 100 to 500 examples, although you can tune with as few as 20 examples. I can give my model a name and a description, as well as choose the base model to tune on. Optionally, you can open the advanced setting and adjust the tuning epochs, learning rate multiplier, and batch size. After everything looks good, simply hit Tune. You can see that the tuned model immediately shows up in your library, and you can follow the progress bar to see how far your tuning job has come along. After the model finishes tuning, you can see the hyperparameters you put in, as well as the loss graph of the tuning job. Here, we see that the loss is going down and converges at a low point, which means the hyperparameters I've chosen works well. If not, you can adjust your hyperparameters and tune again. Next, you can directly use the tune model in a prompt. Let's try out a living thing that grows in the earth and has a stem, leaves, and roots. The model gets it correctly. It's a plant. This is a simple example. But you can see how tuning makes the base model conform to your specific requirements. You can export the prompt calling the tune model in code by hitting Get Code. You could also perform this entire process programmatically through the Gemini API. You can get started through aistudio.google.com or read how to tune through the Gemini API in the documentation link below. And don't forget to get your API key in Google AI Studio when you're ready. Thanks for watching.